Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems. This webinar will demonstrate how to create charts that can be used to identify trends, track KPIs and aid decision making. Learn how to place charts and graphs on diagrams and group them in order to display an interactive project dashboard. The Enterprise Architect dashboard shown on screen includes charts, time series and model views. By collating and visualising model information, you can help stakeholders to make decisions and evaluate data from within their model. The pie chart provides a high-level overview of the status for each requirement in a selected package. For example, this chart shows that over half of all requirements are still proposed, while a bit over a third are implemented. This visual information is easy to read and understand, and can help stakeholders to make decisions such as allocating additional resources to tackle proposed requirements. A time series chart can record changes in multiple series of data over time. This allows you to track KPIs or identify trends. For example, this chart allows us to examine the total number of tasks being completed by three teams. Team B appears to be outperforming the other two teams. We can configure Enterprise Architect to run these calculations daily, weekly or monthly to help us establish long-term patterns and analyse data. This technique can also be used to construct burn-down charts for Agile developers. It is also possible to capture, summarise and present information in the form of a model view table. The example on screen shows any unrealised requirements. A major benefit of the chart feature is providing the facility to search through your model and extract specific aspects of information using your own SQL query. Imagine you have been hired to build a dashboard to assist with decision making around staffing and resource management. You have been asked to produce charts and graphs that display details about functional requirements, outlining monthly sales, overdue tasks and recording project KPIs for the inclusion in the yearly company report. To examine the status of functional requirements for your project, simply drag the desired package on screen using the context menu, select Graph Based on Package Contents. Enterprise Architect automatically creates a standard chart element based on the selected package. Select a simple 2D bar chart to display our status data and make sure you include all child packages so that we do not miss any functional requirements. Change the name of the element to better describe the chart's purpose. This name will appear on the diagram, so it's important that it represents the chart. Add an element filter. We use an element filter to narrow the chart results to only match functional requirements. This feature can be used to display elements written by a particular author or elements produced in a given phase of development. Now that we have our filter in place, we can modify the appearance of our chart to suit our needs. There are a number of different options including the ability to change a label position, modify the gradient and select an appropriate chart category. It is also possible to display a chart legend, a shadow and modify the transparency of the chart when it appears on our diagram. All staff are responsible for the creation of requirements. Management want to ensure that this workload is spread evenly amongst staff. We're going to create a pie chart which indicates which staff are working on functional requirements for our project. Select the series to be element author because this is the information that we wish to display on our chart. Once again, include child packages to ensure that the chart accurately reflects all functional requirements that may be stored in those child packages. Add an element filter so that we're only looking at functional requirements. Once this is done, we can modify the chart's appearance. We can have a 2D or 3D pie chart, or we can use a donut shape. Select a suitable gradient and set the label position. You can rotate the chart to highlight important data. This allows you to display the most relevant data at the front of the pie chart. 
This data clearly indicates that staff loads are not equally distributed and action will need to be taken to address the problem. One of the advantages of using charts within Enterprise Architect is that they can be easily updated. For example, if I update an element on the Manage Users diagram, such as changing a requirement from being proposed to approved, I would expect to see that change reflected on my chart. Simply use the context menu to refresh the chart at any time. Note, the number of approved requirements has gone from 1 to 2, while the number of proposed requirements has decreased by 1. So what have we learned? Charts have helped us to collate and visualise complex information from a variety of different packages, helping us to identify that we have too many proposed requirements and that some staff have much more work than others in the team. Our Enterprise Architect model contains a great deal of information on both project design and project management. One advantage of using Enterprise Architect charts is the facility to search through the model using your own custom SQL query. I shall demonstrate using a simple project management example. Select a standard chart element from the toolbox and place it on the diagram. Provide a meaningful name for our 2D bar chart. Under the Source section, select the tab labelled Custom SQL. I'm going to paste some code that I prepared earlier. Using Custom SQL is an ideal way to extract valuable project management information from your model. The code on screen basically counts any resource from T object where the percentage complete is less than 100 and the due date has passed. In other words, the chart will show which staff currently have overdue tasks within the current project. Please refer to the Enterprise Architect User Guide for more information on the object model. The chart would seem to indicate that the database team is falling behind and this situation may require intervention from management. I am now going to switch gears and launch a Project Gantt view to illustrate how changes to resource allocation are captured and displayed using charts and dashboards. I'm going to take a couple of tasks that have been assigned to Benjamin Hutton and modify the percentage complete to be equal to 100%. So these two tasks are no longer overdue. You'll note in the Gantt view, it is no longer red and these tasks are green. Using the context menu, if I refresh the chart, you can see that the number of overdue tasks for Benjamin Hutton has decreased from three down to one. I can also make changes at a diagram level, so if I open the Manage Users diagram and switch to the Gantt view, I can assign a resource. This time I'm going to assign multiple resources to the Add Users task. So I've assigned Frank and Ben to complete a task. However, this time I'm going to set the percentage complete equal to 14%. So clearly both of these tasks will be overdue. While this might be an artificial example, it helps to illustrate how project management capabilities within Enterprise Architect can be displayed on a dashboard to help management make decisions about resource allocation. So you can see the two tasks are both red, which indicates that they are overdue. Now if I refresh the chart, looking at the blue and purple column, you'll see that both Ben and Frank have had the number of overdue tasks increased by one. To briefly summarise, we've used charts and dashboards within Enterprise Architect to display both project management and project design information that can help aid decisions by management. What I'd like to do now is demonstrate how you can take data from a traditional spreadsheet and bring it inside your Enterprise Architect model. Create a new diagram that will be used to store our monthly sales data within our Enterprise Architect model. Using a standard chart element, this time under the Source section, I'm going to select the CSV tab. I can copy and paste CSV data from any traditional spreadsheet, such as OpenOffice Calc or 
Microsoft Excel. Once again, I have the ability to modify the appearance of my chart, including displaying a shadow, updating the legend. I also have the ability to modify the gradient, to show data labels, to set the transparency, and many other options. One of the advantages of using an Enterprise Architect standard chart element is that it's very easy to go back and make modifications to the appearance of the chart if you are unhappy with the final result. So let's have a look at our result. Now one of the things that I'm not happy with is I think that the data labels make the 2D bar chart look somewhat cluttered. So I'm going to go back in and update the appearance of my diagram to remove these data labels. Simply bring up the context menu, select appearance, uncheck the checkbox, and now I've removed my data labels. In addition to sales figures, management would like to see how many requirements appear in the project on a daily basis. Enterprise Architect has a chart pattern that can help establish a total number of requirements within a model. This feature can also be modified to track software defects, overdue requirements, element changes, and a variety of KPIs that can be used to evaluate a project. It is also possible to modify the appearance of the chart to suit your individual needs. If you are not familiar with writing custom SQL, you can experiment by adapting some of the existing pre-built patterns in the toolbox. For example, I can change the code on screen to list the total number of classes in the model rather than changes. You can test the query to ensure that no syntax errors were introduced based on your changes. The help file describes various aspects of the object model and provides a number of examples. It's also possible to record your results manually or request that Enterprise Architect perform them on a regular basis, daily, weekly or monthly. It's also possible to create a model view to display aspects of your project that you might find interesting, such as displaying all unrealised requirements. Management has requested the ability to display all mandatory requirements that are listed within our model. Using the edit mode, I can instantly access each element to view in diagrams or the project browser. This is particularly helpful when dealing with large models. Imagine that some time has passed and we've created a new requirement. I'm going to set the status of this requirement equal to mandatory. If I switch back to my time series and model views, we'll be able to see how this change has impacted our dashboard. You'll notice that the total number of requirements is now 97. If I refresh my model view, I'll be able to see an additional mandatory requirement is now listed. I also have the ability to look at each of the items in this list and find those items either in the project browser or in the diagram view. This is particularly helpful if you want to find important elements within your model. Once you've produced your dashboard you can save the diagram. This diagram can then be inserted into a PowerPoint demonstration, presented to management, or simply printed for display on the office wall. The dashboard can help provide a high-level overview of the model that can help you to make decisions and track progress. It's also possible to generate a report for the website or include the dashboard in an annual company report. I hope this webinar has demonstrated the power and flexibility that charts offer within Enterprise Architect. For more information on charts and dashboards, or to download a free 30-day trial of Enterprise Architect, please visit www.sparksystems.com.